What's up YouTube? Connor Thrifts here, back with a brand new video. So today I am pumped up. I was literally on the toilet, not to get very nasty with you guys, but I was taking a dump, I'm not gonna lie. And I went to the Spots Instagram and I saw they're having a three tag sale for 50% off. Yes, I love thrifting. Yes, I find, love finding like my own stuff. But when you have like an enormous amount of vintage at your fingertips for the low and they already give really good deals at full price. So when they have 50% off three tags, you know I gotta hit it. I'm gonna hit big. I'm gonna try to spend $1,000 on inventory. So maybe like 100 t-shirts. That's what I'm guessing. Maybe like some of it's $9.99 half off, $14.99 half off, $19.99 half off. I'm gonna try to stick to those kind of prices. So I'm getting tees for five to $10 a piece and I can flip them on my eBay store or my platforms for a lot more. So spending $5 for a t-shirt, selling it for 25 bucks, doing that 100 times. My neighbor next to me was selling a 2012 Chevy Cruze. It's clean, it's good running, and it does have a little bit of miles on it. I think it has like 150,000, but he was like over talking it the other day and I was like, oh, $3,800, that's very reasonable. So I Kelly Blue booked it and it was going for like 48, so I figured that was fair. It was a great deal. The car looks beautiful, it's a blue car. That guy has a small dick, but it's okay, because we're out here grinding. We're gonna go find some good stuff, 50% off three tags. I think the tags are green, white, and red. And they're dropping new stuff, which is always a good sign because they drop, I think, 200 to 300 items per day, which is insane. And I love like that they get this much business because they keep on giving all these good deals. But 50% off three tags, and I'm almost there. We're gonna get grinding, guys. All right, guys, I made it here. If you guys are looking for the spot, you basically just go to Coral Springs High School. You continue down the road. On the right-hand side, there's gonna be a plaza. It looks like this color, and it's called The Spot. It's right next to this big lighting store. So if you guys are here, make sure you guys give them a shout out and be like, yo, I watched Connor Thrift's video. I better get in there before someone snipes out all those steals. Uh, locking up the electric booty. Gotta put my mask on and we're gonna grind, guys. I, I hope we find some really good stuff. All right, so I just looked through every rack, even the sides, and I found 45 items. I'm gonna flip through and show you guys. I'll try to clean up some of the ones that are stained up. This one has like a good fade on it. Anything you see. So that's five bucks for the Benetton. This one is five dollars for this America's Answer is Jesus. This one's for myself, $14.99. I've had this before in the past, but it was a large and it didn't really fit too well. Definitely adding that one back to the collection. Got a Black History for $6.50. like this one as well. Tank Battalion, United States of America. Pretty basic, just single stitch t-shirt made in USA. Dog stuff does really well. This one's dated 1991. Pretty cool. Clay Aiken. This one I think is on the sale rack. So this is only $2. 2004. We got the Jamaica shirt from the 80s. This one's really cool. Like an all over print with the skull. It's not on the back, but the front definitely looks good. We got Smithsville, Tennessee. Pretty cool. I think that one's, nope, that one's $6.50. We have the Nautica competition for five bucks. Size medium. This one's pretty cool. Alabama. Double sided. And that one is five buckaroos. This one is probably the only one I think I bought that was $19.99 half off. It is the Darth Maul Star Wars. Pretty cool. Has like a little sleeve patch as well. That's $12.99 half off. Stone Cold Tear. And it's a Bush Gardens ride. Cozumel Scuba. It's pretty cool. The fish. It's five bucks. Nothing really gets less than $5 unless it's on the sale sale rack. This is five bucks. It has like all different animal prints from Footprints of Maine. Just a weird shirt, like weird stuff sells though. Got the Universal Studios Islands of Adventure tee, size XL. Got this 90s Green Lantern. Kind of just like an Eagle shirt for $6.50. It's got that older Made in USA Anvil tag. Got this Aruba Carnival tee for five bucks. A lot of vacation stuff has been doing good for me right now. And I just like the night neon colors. Five bucks for the I came, I saw it, I fixed. Definitely a good work tee. Rio Brazil shirt for five bucks. Good vacation tee. Cancun, Mexico for five bucks. 
Again, like a good vacation tee. Tommy Jeans, $6.50. Michael Fredo. Got this long sleeve Firebird shirt. Got I Survived Hurricane Charlie, 2004. Have you seen this Wizard, Prison of Azkaban, Harry Potter shirt? Got this Jordan shirt that's all over print, but I've sold this exact shirt before for like 30 bucks, so I'm not worried about it. And that one's $6. And that's on that Wild Tag, size medium, for $6.50. Got this Aruba 90 shirt, vacation tee. This 80s USS Ferryon, some type of military tee. Got this 90s champion tee for $6.50. Walt Disney World tank top. Got that 90s tag size large for $6.50. It's a good one. Just a couple small stains down there. I could get those out. Got the SeaWorld crew neck. Pretty cool. $7.50 size large. And then lastly, we have this WCW. The Seals, Seas Must Live. And that one's only 2 bucks. That was on the sale rack. And it's dated down there in 1977. Definitely an older, older one. Look through every single thing. There are some stuff you guys saw that had stains, but for the majority of it, it's pretty clean. I'm gonna guess like 375 bucks for everything. I said everything's gonna be anywhere from five to $10 each. All right guys, so I'm pretty happy with the result. <laughs> Actually, very happy because the total was only 270 and that's including my $15 Disney t-shirt. So I got 45 items. I almost tried to put 45 up and I was like, oh, got 45 t-shirts. Some of them were crew necks. Some of them super sick. If you guys are in the Coral Springs area, make sure you guys go check out the spot. Really good place. Obviously, you can see we got a ton of really dope vintage items for $255 plus a personal t-shirt for myself. I collect Disney t-shirts and that t-shirt that I saw, the MGM one, I've had that in my personal collection before, but it shrunk and I just found an extra large one, which is now more my size because I'm getting a little bit chubby, but... <laughs> That's besides the point. I just need to work out a little bit more. All right, guys, if you're watching this, happy 4th of July. I'm going to try to get this video up on Saturday. I'm actually going to the spot again because they have a 4th of July sale. I'm going to just throw it in with the half off sale. They added two more tags to the sale. So now it is half off on, I believe, yellow and gray tag, which those weren't on sale the other day when I went. I believe it was green, red, and white. So now I'm going to try to find as much stuff as I can on the gray, yellow, and I guess the rest of the tags, I'll, I'll like relook at them. Maybe I'll find something that either I missed the first time because you do miss it. Like I've been thrifting and I looked through an entire rack and then like I f like have another friend come and he finds like a dope shirt. I'm like, dude, I just flipped through that and I didn't see that. So sometimes the eye doesn't catch it, but it's okay. Hopefully you can find some dope stuff today. It's going to be half off everything except for blue and I think it's orange tag. So we're gonna try to find some really dope stuff. Hopefully we can make some money. I already listed everything that I bought the other day other than a couple white tees, but I'm gonna wait in line because or else I'm not gonna get a good spot. No pun intended for the spot. <laughs> all right, YouTube, I'm gonna try to do this all in one take. So let's not mess up. Okay, everything in this stack, there's 60 t-shirts I got from the spot was all half off. I'm pretty sure nothing was the newer tag. So stuff like yellow tag and gray tag. Let's see if I can find a gray tag. Gray tag right there. All of that is 50% off. This was actually a low key steal. It says Alabama June Jam. Now at first I thought about it and I was like, maybe it's just like some local radio station. They got like Alabama's like, you know, but then I looked up eBay and prices were anything from like 40 to 120. So we'll see. This one actually has some cool like names on the back too. So the June Jam. For $6.50, steal. This is a personal pickup. We got a crew neck, and this was $12.50, but I would have paid 15, 20 bucks all day. We got this mystery novels tee for $7.50, single stitch. I looked up the Gory Entertainment, and his name, I forget his name, but he does books. We got Super Freak Rick James 2004. I just sold one of these, a black one, and it sold for $60. So $7.50 into Probably the least I'll take is 50 bucks. Next, another personal tee. I collect Disney tees. Four, no, this is $10. I was going to say this is $14.99 half off, but this is $19.99 half off. And I really like this one because she Minnie Mouse is holding like the Minnie Mouse ear, Mickey Mouse thing, the hat. And it's pink and it's dope and it's going to be my size. So I found a couple Disney tees in here that might not fit me. So we'll see. I'll sell them if they don't fit. If you guys hear any banging, fireworks are going off in the background. Happy 4th of July. 
We've got Star Wars. This is an adult size small, and this was ten dollars from 19.99. And I really like this tee because you don't really see this graphic a lot. I forget the name of this specific droid, but really dope one. We have this kind of all over buffalo print shirt. It's like buffaloes on the sleeve. One little stain right there. This was only five bucks. Size 2XL for the big boys. And then if you wrap it around, you got little buffaloes on the back. See, this is one of those big ones I was talking about. I am six foot six, so I can rock some big tees like 2XLs. This might be a 3XL, but let's see how much this was. This was $10. If I can't rock it, I'll definitely sell it. And it is not single stitch, but definitely 90s with that Mickey ink tag. Pretty dope. These tags are usually, I would say, 1994 to 1997, anywhere in that range, but I might be a little bit off on the dates. That's a cool one. It's huge, though. Next, for $6.50, we got the Mountain, probably early 2000s, late 90s. Next, for five bucks, we got this vintage San Miguel beer, the Filipino beer. This is another personal tee if it doesn't fit me because this one is also super huge. This was only $7.50. So that's a really good deal. We got Pluto and Mickey. This was, I think, a 3XL, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it says 3XL. So that one might be a little bit too big. This one was so sick. This was a come up. This is 80s Hanes tag, size XL for $7.50. We got Power Troll. Yo, look at that dude. After Corona, man. Oh my God. So a lot of people are hitting me up on Instagram about this piece. So I think maybe. 30 to 40 bucks. Next, we have another person. We got the Mickey Mouse pullover hoodie, and it's super dope because it has like this leather strap. It's only 10 bucks. Really good deal on that piece. Color blocking. Oop, we got a little stain right there, but that hit on the hood definitely makes it worth it. This was probably one of the most expensive tees I bought, and it was $25, so half off a of yellow. Size extra large, made in USA, Rage Against the Machine, dated 1999. It does have kind of like a split color, like red and black on the sleeves, but honestly it looks pretty dope. And I saw one sell for a hundred bucks, so good money on that one. Make Wake Team USA, that's pretty cool. And this was only $6.50 for the Olympic swimming. This one was pretty dope as well. Alexander the Great, St. Petersburg, Florida. This was only five bucks, size XL, really dope tee. A lot of like art and Picasso type tees are selling, so I figured maybe it's a little bit in that kind of zone or range. Man, there's a lot of tees to go through. We got the Rainforest Cafe for $6.50, made in USA, size extra large. We have the Crew Neck, 101 Dalmatians for 10 bucks. Definitely a sick one. This is a dope one for sure. The This is Budweiser, this is big. And we got the two little lizards. Drinking Budweiser from 1998. I did have to pay up for this one. This one was 19.99 half off. That's a $10 bill, probably into like 40 bucks. I don't even know who Brian Adams is, but I believe on the back it is 1997. Yeah, 97 tour. So for five bucks, I took the gamble. I didn't even look it up yet. Even after filming this video, Martin Luther King on this 90s, late 90s Gildan tag. And this is a $7.50 one. Yes, sir probably like 30 bucks on that. 750 on the We Believe That Everyone Counts McDonald's tee. We have this 1998 Sorcerer Mickey for the 10 buck ruse. Oh, this one was a dope one when I found it. I was like, oh, Merlin? This one was 10 bucks, but I don't know, a single stitch. Wizard tees definitely do well. I don't really see a date anywhere, but you know, he's like floating on some planets over here. He's got a mountain above him. He's waving his wand. We got the all over print, Rusty Wallace, Winston Cup. Got Miller Time on the sleeves, big two on the back. We got Las Vegas. I get any of these when they have the neon prints. This was $6.50, but I usually get anywhere from $15 to $25 for the ones with the neon print, single stitch, Hard Rock Cafe. Got the Bush Gardens, pretty dope. I think this one was $6.50, yes. And this one will probably bring me like 25, 30 bucks. Anything Bush Gardens with a big, oh, it's kind of like a wrap around a little bit. It doesn't wrap around too much, but pretty dope alligator. Pretty darn scary. We got Tweety Bird and Sylvester. 750 for that one. Another personal pickup was this crew neck Pluto. Definitely a 90s crew neck. And I only get crew necks if they're really big for myself because 
I am really tall and big and some like extra large crew necks don't fit me, but this one should. $10, super good deal. Does have some stains, but I'll get those out. This was a weird shirt and it doesn't really show up in the camera too well, but single stitch says Forenza, size small. And this was $6.50, but all of these like all over print crazy shirts do very well. I'll probably ask like 40, 50 bucks on this and I'll get an offer of like 30, but shit, I only paid $6.50. Easy money. Here we go, we got Mickey Mouse walking around. This is size extra large, and this was $7.50 as well. Got this Harbor Springs dated 1978, really old one, and this one was five buckaroos. Anything with this type of print on it has been doing really well for me, so if you guys see these like 80s tees. The Mr. Bill Show, I've never seen this show, obviously, because it's from the 70s, but I saw comps anywhere from like 40 to a hundred dollars. So I have no clue seven dollars and fifty cents now This was the only tea I think I regret buying because it was so distressed. There's so many stains I don't know if you guys could see it in the video But seven dollars and fifty cents for the Tweety Bird I just really love like the striping and then it was floral too So if I could soak this in bleach and get it somewhat looking good then not soak it in bleach, soak it in OxyClean and make it look a little bit better. $7.50, probably get 30 bucks out of it. Yeah, you guys can see the back. Oh man, that was a bad one. I should have I should have passed on that one. So we got the country style bush beans. This one is low-key a banger. $7.50. Oh my god, this thing is so cool. A lot of like weird stuff like this does sell. So if you guys are thrifting and you see this for a dollar or two. Definitely pick it up. I paid $7.50 and I think I'm gonna get like 30 bucks. <laughs> Next we have the Costa Rica Rainforest. Oh, it says Save the Rainforest. Single stitch, five bucks. Size large, really dope tee. Next we have the Wildlife. I believe this is Lion Country Safari. It's on that sleeve. It says it, but this was only $6.50. Size large, made in USA. Got the little cub with the big cat, you know, low key flame. This was actually, I think, yeah, this was $7.50 as well. Super dope, definitely like 70s to 80s Disney tag. Look at that one, that one's so cool. It does have some stains down there, but I'll get those out. $7.50, sell for 40 bucks. I have no idea what's going on. Before I bought my house, I sold all of my personal tees and this is one of them. We have the size extra large for 10 buckaroos and it's dated 2004 and we got Towley. I am a big South Park fan, but for some reason, South Park tees got really expensive when prices started getting going up. Next, for $6.50, we got this all over print, but they're all lighthouses. I thought this was so sick when I was at the store. Double stitch, $6.50, charge 30. You never know what that thing's gonna go for. This was another dope one. Anything with animals on it, but wolves especially do so well. This is $19.92, a couple stains right there. But for the five bucks on the best Fruit of the Loom tag, good money, good money, probably 25 bucks. This was another one, the Great Smoky Mountains. We got the Bald Eagle, we got the Moose and the Wolf on the Allure tag, made in USA, 650. Definitely a $30 bill. We have the Mardi Gras Snoopy, definitely 90s. We have 750 on that one on the Nutmeg tag. Throw me something, mister. Now this is one of my favorites because I'm a huge Saturday Night Live fan. Step one, cut a hole in a box. Step two, put your junk in that box. Step three, make her open the box. And that's the way you do it. $7.50, I don't know what that's worth. I might keep it. Another friend on Instagram was interested in that so I might sell it to her. This is a size extra large for myself as well. And this is $7.50 and you got all the embroidered Characters and then Mickey is colored, which is pretty dope. Next we have I don't wanna I don't have to I ain't gonna we got the Garfield and this one was six dollars and fifty cents Definitely like a 90s print. It doesn't have a date anywhere And there's no website which gives me like the kind of the clues that hey This is probably like 90s it does have a stain right there But anything Garfield for me goes for like 30 40 bucks all day on eBay. This is another crazy one I have another one in a different colorway, but this was five bucks for the multicolor tie-dye type print. It does have some stains down there. Maybe I'll try to work those out. But anything like surf related or 90s, 80s surf style type tees, these will bring like 30 bucks. So don't pass on those. Next, we got the Pisces, February to March. I'm running out of breath, guys. $5, and this one was going for like 15 to $30. I actually have another one that I got at the spot and it already has a bunch of watchers. 
I actually don't know what this says, so if you guys know in the comments, leave it down below. I was thinking maybe it says like, we love you or something, but I'll have to look it up. Or I, maybe I love you, I have no clue. Next we have this destroy everything. It's super distressed, has paint stains and everything, but I had to get it, Invader Zim, $6.50. Really dope tee. We have this 90s Incredible Hulk shirt. Tag is faded off, but it's only $7.50. Anything comic related is doing so well right now, so I'm gonna ask like 30, 40 bucks on this piece. It's an adult size medium slash small. We have the 90s Martin Luther King on the stamp, and this was only 10 buckaroos, size extra large, but anything black history is doing so well right now. And then he says, says the dream lives on on the back. We have this really cool Dixie, I think it was called Dixie Stampede, and you got a bunch of horses, and if this was only $6.50 on that Delta tag, size extra large. Might fit a little bit bigger. We have the Brian McKnight Superhero, and this was $7.50, size large. Another wolf tee with some like sparkly, glowy stuff, $6.50. And that one is size large or extra large. This is a crazy one. It got like some fairies on it. We got the mountain tag, 2001. This is $6.50 size 2XL. I've sold these in the past anywhere from like 15 to 30 bucks. So I think that will do pretty good. This is a dope one as well. Kickback. We have the Volkswagen Bug, $6.50 size medium. Does have a little bit of fade and wear on it, but anything car related does super well on eBay, especially for me. I'll probably sell this tee for like 30 bucks and it'll move pretty fast. Earth Day, 1990, another sick one. This one was $7.50 and it's worth it. Size extra large, made in USA. Probably fits like a large now because a lot of tees do shrink. And another dope one, I don't know how well it'll do, but this is an early 2000s movie made by Disney and it's $7.50, size small. The Rookie, I don't think I've seen this movie, but maybe I should because I'm a huge Disney fan. Does have a bunch of stains right here, but I'll try to get those out. I don't know, anything Disney movie in early 2000s has been doing so good for me. So I'm gonna grab, I grabbed this. Well, I'm, I'm, I was gonna say I'm gonna grab this. I already grabbed it, gonna clean it up, ask like 40 bucks. I don't know how well it will do, but it was only 750. And that was a lot of talking. <sighs> Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys are in the Coral Springs area, make sure you guys go check out the spot. Make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you guys aren't subscribed. Make sure you guys turn on notifications so you guys can see new videos in the future. Make sure you guys show some love and comment down below what you guys thought was the best find. Hope you guys have a nice day. Peace out. Bye-bye. Erectile dysfunction is bad, but leaving a like on the video isn't. Whether you're hard or soft, make sure to slap that like button and subscribe while you're at it.